Hey, Wayne here with the Mockwell Basalt. I hope I'm saying that right. Let's get it unboxed, put together. And if you wanna see my full review of this bike, click on the link down below. <laughs> oh, I knew it was gonna happen eventually. Okay, so I'm going to get this out of the box. Now, sometimes you might wanna keep this box in case the unlikely event, something goes wrong and you need to return the bike you're gonna need this box. So if you don't wanna destroy the box, I suggest opening it from the bottom. So lay the bike down on, the, on its side here, uh, flat, and then open the bottom and then pull the box up off the bike. Or if you have a friend, better yet, then you can open it up either end and have a friend help you pull the bike out of the box to save the box. But since I'm alone, I'm gonna to have to lay this down, open the bottom and get the bike out that way. I'm gonna bring this chair here just in case I have to lean the bike against it. There we go. All right, next I'm gonna get all this foam taken off of the bike. Okay, so I got everything out of the box. I got all the foam off and everything. Let's start by removing these four first. I like these kind of handlebars that have this little direction to guide, help guide you, this guide there. All right, so to start with, we're just gonna line this up right here, these crosshairs. Okay. Okay, so when installing the display, make sure mock wheel is facing forward and uh, the nuts here, you can kind of just place them in to these grooves, then hold them down with your thumb and uh, when you're screwing them back in and that'll hold them in place. So let's go ahead and just fit it right on over. Always keep in mind when you're screwing into plastic, do not over tighten. You could screw right through the plastic and you don't want to do that because then you're going to need another part. So just, just a good snug fit is all you need. So to get the tire and wheel on, you're going to need to take this off first and it looks like it's pretty loose already. So yeah, if it's loose, you won't need a wrench. Ah, good. Otherwise it would be a 15 that comes with it. Okay, once you get that brace out from underneath the uh, forks there, you're gonna wanna make sure to take this plug out, this little protective, deal here for the uh, brake pads. Take that out, throw it aside. You won't need it anymore. Make sure that your brake disc lines up and goes in between where you took that piece out in between the pads here. It's easier when you have help, but I am alone today. So let's see if I can get this done by myself. And it is on. So I'm gonna rest the bike on its kickstand and I'm gonna tighten these up.
Okay, so to get the front fender and the light on, I'm going to try to hold that fender in place with my knees and place the light in here. Put the screw back in. Tighten it up just a little bit, not too much. Because it's going to want to, we're going to want to move and adjust things. So now I'm going to take the camera and show you the second part of the fender that needs to be installed, which is right here. So on each side of the bike, you're going to want to remove these little bolts here, these screws, put this piece in, line it up, screw it back on. Do the same thing with the other side and the front fender will be done. Now for the headlight, you're going to want to take this yellow cable. I'll show you right here. Yeah, so for the front headlight, you're going to want to take this cable right here. And there are three pins in there and a little notch. So line all that up and push it together. That's it. Okay, once you get everything in place, go back and tighten up this bolt that's behind the fen uh, on over the fender here. Make sure you get that about where you want it. it may not be perfect, but should be pretty centered. And then tighten it up. Okay, after you get the handlebar on, make sure it's nice and straight. And there is a bolt on each side of the stem. You're going to want to tighten these up to stop it from moving and to be safe. Okay, that looks pretty straight. If it needs more adjusting, I can always do it later. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up right here. Okay, so you got a left and a right. The uh, left goes on counterclockwise while the right goes on clockwise. So I'm going to go ahead and put the right one on first. Get it started by hand. And then I'm going to use the 15 millimeter wrench that comes with the mock wheel kit. And I'm just going to hold it on there while I spin it backwards a, a bit. And there it is. So give it a little push. Okay, do the same thing on the other side and your pedals are done. Okay, so I went over a few things. I see that this part wasn't actually attached. So I don't know if that was an accident from mock wheel or what, but I'm gonna go ahead and just remove that bolt and put it back together. Not a big deal. Okay, that was a nice easy install. Once you're done, make sure everything is nice and tight. Go back over everything. Check the battery, make sure it has a full charge. Make sure your display is turning on, the rear light, the front light, the brakes. Inflate the tires properly. If you want to see my full review on this bike, check the link down below. And until then, get out there and ride, and I'll see you on the next one.